Okay, here we have a triangle that I'm going to say is an isosceles triangle. Now, an isosceles triangle is a triangle. We could define it as a triangle where we have uh, two sides equal, or we could define it as a triangle where we have the two angles equal. I'll go with the definition of two angles, so two equal angles. Now, here are the equal angles, so I've put a couple of tick marks in these angles to show that they're equal. Uh, and I'm going to say the two equal angles implies two equal sides. Can you prove that? Okay, you should stop and prove that. Don't think too much about what I've uh, marked here. Uh, but I will say that it's useful to do an altitude from point C down to uh, the base AB. Okay, you should pause and think that through. Why is uh, why, why do we get uh, how do we get the conclusion that these two sides are equal uh, using that construction? Okay, well, hopefully paused and thought that through. But I'm going to say, uh, first of all, the altitude AD, altitude AD, uh, the altitude is CD, not AD. Okay. Uh, the altitude CD divides a triangle into two similar triangles. I'm going to I claim that. And how do I prove that? Uh, well, that means that uh, this triangle, and I could say those triangles would be uh, DBC and ADC. Could be the similar triangles. And I say, that, well, that's by angle, side, angle. How do I get that? Well, people are pretty good at identifying this. Okay, we already know these two angles are equal. That's our assumption. An altitude comes down here at a perpendicular, so we got right angles here and here. So now we have two angles that are the same, which tells us immediately that these two triangles are similar. And uh, do we have the same scale? Well, yeah, the side CD is common to both triangles and is opposite the two known angles here. So that uh, the two triangles, therefore, by angle, side, angle, have to be congruent. Now, uh, I realize that I haven't discussed angle, side, angle, although when I post these videos, I will have. And I'm wondering where that is. Uh, got that on a board someplace. So uh, we won't worry about that right now. In any case, in terms of angle, side, angle, two angles and a side being the same, uh, we conclude that uh, side AC equals side BC, which means that the two sides are equal. I'll also comment, if we start with the assumption that the two sides are equal, without the assumption that the angles are equal, we can conclude, again, by drawing the altitude and considering what we have, that the two triangles are congruent. So uh, you should think about that. Uh, I'm going to pause here a second and draw that uh, and see if you can prove it yourself, OK? That if the two sides are equal, then the two angles have to be equal. OK, here we have uh, mark that two sides are equal. Um, and here's a triangle. So uh, in order to prove that the two angles here are equal, we simply drop an altitude from C down to this side AB. We have two right, tri two right angles here. Um, we also know that this side is the same. Now, is that sufficient to prove congruence? And uh, the answer is no, it isn't. Uh, if we had uh, this angle equal to this angle, then we'd have side angle side equal to side angle side. If we had this side equal to this side, the AD equal to the DB, then we'd have side angle side here and side angle side here. But we don't have that. We have two we have angle, angle, side, which does not necessarily give us, um, did I say angle, angle, side? It's side, side, angle. But in any case, uh, that doesn't ensure that we have a right angle.
uh, that, that we have um, similar triangles. Okay, uh, so what can we do here? Well, maybe you've thought of it, maybe not. But since we have a right angle here, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. So that this side has to equal this side by the Pythagorean theorem. And it should be clear that uh, we have two sides of the triangle. We can find the third. And if we have two sides of this triangle and find the third, since these two sides are equal respectively to these two sides, the result of the Pythagorean theorem is going to be the same. So we end up with this side equal to this side. So that's one way of proving that the isosceles triangle, uh, or a triangle with two sides equal, gives you two equal angles here. We prove the congruence of the triangles, and we conclude that these two angles are equal. Now to show uh, what I was talking about up here, having angle, angle, I mean, side, side, angle, and I wrote that down wrong. I wrote angle, angle, side, and it should be angle, side, side. Uh, forgive the spelling. Um, I forgot, usually it's just written side, side, angle, just so people don't read it as uh, the word, uh, small donkey or other things. Okay, uh, if we have two sides and an angle that's not in between them, then there are two ways the triangle could be drawn. Okay, here's a triangle, and we got this side and this side, I, and, and this angle. Now I can draw another triangle. All I have to do is, and I could do this with a compass and straight edge, take this and draw an arc. It's not a very good arc, but you understand we draw an arc and we intercept the circle up here, and we have the same side, but now we have two different triangles. And this third side is longer in one triangle than it is in the other. So angle, side, side, or side, side, angle doesn't help. So in this case, uh, we did resort to the Pythagorean theorem to prove that the third side is the same. And now we have side, side, side. And that proves that uh, if you know if two sides are congruent, then you have the two equal angles. And either way, this is an isosceles triangle.